Okay, all right, so it's Green Olive. Um, apparently my first video was a video recording because I didn't press place. So anyway, um, it's I am 19 months to Salak. My hair is doing really, really well. Um, I've dyed my hair twice since the last time I think I've done a video only because I've been getting gray hair and I really wasn't ready to accept it at 33, but because the women in my family have not really turned gray until they've gotten in their 40s, but for whatever reason, my life struggle says that it's time for gray hair. So anyway, I'm just going to show you guys how my hair is looking. I really love my sister locks now. Like, um, I was going through a phase where I was really hating them because, for one, I was getting, I had, you know, if you've watched, been watching my videos, then you know that I had to go back to, I wasn't banding them, but I was doing. I was doing a better job at um at washing them than I had because I for a while I, I went to where I was just um can you see I'm good for a while I went to where I was just um I was two strand twisting them and putting up a red at the end and that that did work but I had to break the sections down the smaller sections to make sure that my two strand twists stay twisted while I washed them. Because I started experiencing slippage and, um, well, not even really slippage. I was getting like my, a lot of my locks were starting to get bigger and, um, they stopped doing it once I started um, making the section smaller when I went two strands with them and put the barrettes at the end. Now, I, for the past couple of months, I have not been, um, banding my hair. I don't even two strands twist my hair when I wash it. I just, you know, I don't get in there and vigor vigorously shake it or anything, but I do get in there and, um, I make sure all the suds are rinsed out. Um, I have gone back to using my shampoo with conditioner in it. Um, I don't use it that often. I only use it like only reason I use it because it has something for itchy scalp. And again, I paid for it, so I was I was gonna definitely get my money out of it. So that's why I went back to doing it. I haven't gotten my sis removed yet. If you've been watching my videos, then you know I have a small cyst in the front of my hair. I haven't gotten that removed yet because the doctors have been booked. Um, it's supposed to get removed in November, so I'm really, really praying that my um, they don't have to cut um, and then my sister locks out, and it can just be that way. If they do have to cut some of them out, hopefully no more than one or two, but if they do, then I'll just continue in the style. Um, I've really been experimenting with my hair. I haven't really done that many um, braid outs like I used to because my hair is getting longer now, and I just felt like... For my face and from for how I am, how I look, I felt like the braid outs look better while my hair was a little bit shorter. But since my hair is getting longer, I don't really do that anymore. I just kind of let it do what it does. So again, I am 19 months sister lock. I just want to keep you guys on an update because you know I used to look at videos and then people, you know, when you first get sister locks, you're extremely excited. And most people record up until the time they get to a year, and after that, you don't see them till they're like two years three years so I'm really doing this to show people who are going to get sister locks or who have sister locks like especially with 4C hair um, because our textures are, are very similar I have 4C hair but it showed them like okay you know if you do what you're somewhat supposed to do your hair might progress like this but then even still everybody's hair is different but I just want to let them know like if you're at that point where you're like oh I'm so tired of banning I'm hating this I don't think I'm gonna like sister locks don't give up. I definitely feel like this is the best decision I've ever made with my hair. So don't give up. I was about to give up. Um, yeah. So don't give up. You can definitely do it. When it, when it gets locked to the point where you can wash it without bearing it, trust me, you're just like, oh, you're just like, oh, everything's amazing. You're just like, thank you, gosh. I don't have to go through that crap anymore. Like, I call it where you can take the sexy shower. So you can get in the shower and do like... You know, like the white girls doing the moving, you can just, you know, take your hands through your hair while you're washing it, while you're letting the water run through it. Because every time I wash my hair, I don't always put shampoo in it. So I'll get in, I'll have a white girl moment, and I'll just be in there, and I'll just let the water come through my hair. And then I'll just, you know, I'll squeeze the water out and then get the towel. So, you know, as my hair gets longer, it's going to be, the attitude is going to be even more stink. I'm going to still be a polite person. I'm just talking about with my sexy girl shower. I will be doing a sexy girl shower as my hair gets longer. And I'm still doing it right now. And you know what I mean? If you already started doing it, you just be like, yeah, can't do the sex girl shower right now while you're being it. It's just it's not sexy. It's like, it's not sexy. But I promise you, you're getting there.
you are getting it. So anyway, I just want to give you guys an update. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try to do it every month, but like I said, I'm in a new area. I'm really trying to find a new consultant, and I have a lot. I'm not going to say I have a lot going on, but life has definitely been a little bit of a struggle lately, so I haven't been able to come back. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I do this for you, so you can keep progress. Don't give up. You're beautiful women. Talk to you later. Bye.